Hello everybody, I'm Carl Rides and welcome to episode 10 of Carl Rides Plays Minecraft on the Ripple Effect Season 2 server. You join me in our Christmas area at the board here that shows what everyone is going to be doing and as you can see there, I am going to be doing the Christmas tree and it's going to be located just over there. So that's what we're going to be doing at the start of this episode. But first, I want to show you some of the things around here. I don't want to look around too much because there's quite a lot of spoilers in this area. But something that isn't a spoiler is this over here because it was in Dud's last episode. This is the snowball fight. So we've got uh, snow golems firing at the zombies here in the middle. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, Duds and Bank built this on a recent live stream, and I'll link to here, uh, Duds' video as well. Absolutely awesome. Something, I don't want to look around too much, <laughs> something else that Duds has uh, made is our secret Santa. So, I want to go over here and put my name into the secret Santa uh, chest so we can participate in that in this season. So there's a lovely little room in here, really like it in here. So let's have a read of the book. Welcome to Secret Santa 2018. Grab a piece of paper, put your name on it and then place your name into the chest on the table. Come back on Tuesday the 18th of December to draw your Secret Santa name, PTO. If, you, if there is something you really need or would like to receive as a gift, you can use a book as your wish list and sign it with your name. I hope everyone has fun with Secret Santa. So there we go. That is the book. There we go. Um, so let's grab a piece of paper and bob our name on it. So we're going to grab that and put Carl right in there. And we're going to bob it in this chest here. There you go. And I believe it goes into a hopper and then down into another chest down there. So you can't see who's joining in. Uh, right. So we are going to be building that Christmas tree. The first thing we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to grab some resources. And I'm going to join you guys up here uh, with my camera account. And we're going to build the Christmas tree. I'll see you guys in just a second. There we go everybody, the Christmas tree is up and I've also put the star on the top as well. I made a few alterations to it from the time lapse, just sorted out a few of the layers because they didn't look quite right. But I think we've got a really good um, sort of shape going on there, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, I want to show you inside, we've got some command blocks here. Uh, that give me these orbs which we're going to be using for baubles and I've also got some of my end rods as well that we're going to be using for lighting uh, so they're all here so the first thing I want to do is do some end rods so what we're going to do is we're going to go up like so and we're going to place one on here and we're going to kind of like concertina them as we go up like so and get all this on here so we've got some lighting around the tree and bob one on the top of there so we're going to go around i'm going to go around now and do all that and i'll bring you guys back in just a second there we go everybody, I think it looks really cool with those lights on. Now we can go around 
and start placing some of the baubles as well. So let's have a look what we're going to do. So if we have like a blue one there, and then we could have a red one just there, and we could have a yellow one over there. I'm just going to go around and just bob in where I think they should go, maybe one there. And then if we go around this side as well. Okay, and maybe a, what have we used? Maybe a green one there. Let's have a look what that looks like from back there. have a look. That's looking all right. I think we need one just on there as well. There we go. I think that's looking really good. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bob in all the baubles. I'm going to go around and put them all in. And then I'm going to bring you guys back in just a second. There we go, everybody. All the baubles are in and I think this tree is looking absolutely beautiful. I've added in an extra colour with the magenta there just to uh, be able to spread the other colours around a bit more. So there's another command block in there for that. I've also put in uh, all of the extra ones here um, that I had left over. But uh, yeah, I think this is looking mighty nice. Love it. Absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing. Uh, so that is our contribution to the Christmas area with the Christmas tree there. We also put in our name for Secret Santa as well. But now we're going to head back over to the base and we're going to work on the, the Elytra flight course. I'll see you guys in just a second. Just before we crack on with that, I want to give you a few updates. First of all, the brand new skin that I'm wearing is my new Christmas skin that was made for me by Link and it looks absolutely awesome. Thank you very much Link for making that for me. In the last episode, we made this um, piston door for the front of my mansion and between episodes, I have been ripping out all of the rooms that uh, were in the mansion and setting up my design for the interior of the mansion, including this brand new staircase right here that takes us up to the second floor. This all needs to come out and the ceiling needs sorting and everything like that. But I think this is a really good start. We've got the never portal in there and I've cleared all the buildings, uh, all the rooms, sorry, from these areas as well. There's just this one here that's my temporary storage room and the smelter room over on that side as well. My plan is to have the bottom area as sort of like four show rooms, like a living room and a kitchen and a bathroom and things like that. Just things that are more sort of for show rather than can actually be used. And then have the second floor as my mass storage room and the super smelter in the middle. And then have the top floor as my bedroom. Now that may not be able to happen because of the way I'm designing the front of the mansion here, as you can see. Um, so we might not be able to do three floors, but I'm going to work on that in between episodes and try and get that right. Um, also, uh, you remember in the last episode that I mentioned that I died making the extension to the North Tunnel? Well, Duds has come over and left me a little present right here. He's left me some shulker shells. Sorry you died making the tunnel. And four mending books. Now that is the perfect amount of mending books that I need to enchant the armor that I made in the last episode after that death. Because I lost most of my tools and armor and stuff. So that is the perfect number of mending books that I needed. So thank you very much Duds. That's a massive help. I want to just open my door right here. And head over to this side. Because I have also put in my little piece of end from Orbney's containers. So this is my little end area right here with a crystal on top. 
and everything here as well. I've took the elytra out and put that in my end chest um, and some of the uh, end chests and shulkers as well. Uh, but this is the area for that Orbney's container. I put glass on top of it because I don't know if um, lightning strikes the end crystal, whether it will set it off and it'll explode. I assume it would. So I've just put glass on top of it just to protect it from that. And obviously creepers might be an issue. Uh, but if I don't stand too close to it, we shouldn't have too much of an issue because I don't want it blowing up that shulker box if I can help it and everything else in the area. And obviously we had the November one over here, the Omni's container that's in here for the sadness and runny nose as well. So we're sort of putting these around the base when they make sense. And I think they're really adding that extra little touch to our base. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, so now it's time to head over there and get on with our Elytra flight course. I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome back everybody. As you can see I've made some changes to the course. I've put each of them up on these white panes and made them circular as well. I put in this nice snowflake for the start finish line. I uh, put in a book and quill so you can write in your time. Let's give it a read. Welcome to Carl's Elytra flight course. Go through each of the circles and follow any arrows. Time yourself from when you leave this snowflake to when you land back on it. Enter time on the next page. So you put your name in there and your time in there. I've grabbed myself some Duration 1 rockets. So let's give this course a go. So we go through the first one. Up to the second one, and the third, spin round down to the fourth one right here, down into here, up here, spin round just to lose some height and stuff, through this one, down into that one, follow the arrows round here, to this one. And then down to that one. Follow the arrow that way. And we go through this one right here. Up here to this. And that one. And this one right here as well. If the server loads in, please. Thank you. That way. And round to the start finish line. So I am going to land on the snowflake and then I'm going to use that to time how long that took me to do. I'm going to do that in my editing software so we're back in just a second. Welcome back everybody. So I have timed that in my editing software and it was 1 minute and 3 seconds. So we're going to bob that into the book. On the next page we're going to put Carl right. One oh, do it like that. One oh three. There we go, guys. So if you're on the server and want to have a go at this, it's open for you now to have a play on it and see if you can beat my time right there. You might also see that I have put in these, uh, which are going to be my lighting for the area, just to give it a bit of ambience. And I've also put in. The same Christmas tree that we put in over at the Christmas area earlier on in the episode. I think it looks really cool in this area. So now I'm going to build some more of these in the area. And I'm going to do that in the form of a third person time lapse. But it's not going to be any third person time lapse. It's going to have some very special music to it that you may recognise from last year. So let's uh, crack on with that guys. See you guys in just a second. On the first day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me a creeper in an oak tree. The second day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree. On the third 
day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Three and apples, two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree On the fourth day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Four zombies, three and apples, two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree On the fifth day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Five gold blocks Four zombies, three and apples, two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree On the sixth day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Six with a skull Five Gold blocks Four zombies Three and apples Two skeletons And a creeper In an oak tree On the seventh day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me a seven blaze of flaming six with a skull Five gold blocks Four zombies, three and a pearls, two skeletons And a creeper in an oak tree In the eighth day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Eight iron golem, seven blaze of flaming six with a skull Five gold blocks Four zombies, three and a pearls, two skeletons And a creeper in an oak tree On the ninth day of Christmas A Minecraft gave to me Nine dinner bone tags, eight iron golem, seven blaze of flame, and six with the skulls, five gold blocks. Four zombies, three and pearls, two skeletons, and a creeper in an oak tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me a ten elytra death, nine dinner burn tags, eight iron golem, seven blaze of flaming six with a skull, five gold blocks, four zombies, three and a pearls, two skeletons, and a creeper in an oak tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas. Minecraft gave to me Eleven diamond blocks, ten elytra deaths, nine dinner bone tags, eight iron golem, seven blaze of flaming six with a skull, five gold blocks. Four zombies, three and a pearls, two skeletons, and a creeper in an oak tree. Twelfth day of Christmas Minecraft gave to me Twelve angry pigmen, eleven diamond blocks Ten elytra deaths, nine dinner bone tags Eight iron golem, seven blaze of flaming Six with a skull, five gold blocks Four zombies, three and the pearls, two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree <sighs> And there we go everybody, they are in our Christmas tree there and are lighting across the course here, so if we have a quick fly over the area 
we can see the whole of the flight course and all of the arrows and the lighting as well as we go around the course. So like I, say, I said before, anyone on the server, come and give it a go, see if you can beat my time of 1 minute and 3 seconds. But now we're going to head over to the Christmas area once again, because we need to pick our name out for Secret Santa. I'll see you guys over there. Welcome back everybody, we are back at the Christmas area. Duds has changed the system round so we can now pick out who we are going to be giving a gift to during Secret Santa. So if we come in here, so place names in here and press button to receive a name. Right, let's see who we're going to get in this year's Secret Santa. If you don't want to know who I got, pause the video now and skip to 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Jimbo Slice 23. So if you want to see uh, what I give to Jimbo, then uh, check out his channel. Links are in the video description below because I'm not going to show you what I'm going to give him in this uh, video. Uh, that's going to do us for today. The last thing I need to tell you guys about is the Ripple Effect live stream day that's happening this Saturday, Saturday the 22nd of December from 10 a.m. GMT. So join Cartazal, Jimbo Slice 23, Duds vs, Bank, Paragraph 8, Croc 17, Tuxedo Cat and Link for 14 hours of Ripple Effect content this Saturday. I'll leave the schedule up on your screen right now. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!